Seb. Oi. Hello. Welcome to another video, guys. We are back at the Geneva Motor Show today. Cole is here, and today's theme is we're going to do, if the camera allows me to focus, kind of like a behind the scenes, I figured, of what it's like to be like a vlogger at the Geneva Motor Show. So I've literally just arrived. You have to try and arrive as early as you can at the show because or else you're just gonna miss all the action, effectively, and get straight into action, which is what we're doing. The thinking behind this is because I do get a lot of messages from people asking, you know, I wanna start a vlog, I wanna film cars, I wanna be able to come to the show and do that sort of stuff. I figured why not just do a behind the scenes of what it's genuinely like and what we do at a show like this, what I do on a day like this, so, that's exactly how we're gonna do it today. So hopefully, if you guys come to the show for the two weeks it's open after we've been here, um, or if you come next year, you can just do exactly this and maybe, hopefully, learn a few tips. Now, for example, let me just see where Cole's gone. So this is how it often runs. So Cole will be getting B-roll. How's the B-roll going? Oh, it is smooth. Smooth. And then whilst he's doing that, I get my phone out and I sort of stand in a corner and then I study like the facts and everything on the car so that then when the camera gets rolling, I know what I'm talking about. I also will talk to like the people from the company and because a lot of what we do here is also networking. Everyone um, who works for all of the car brands or anything like that and people who we can potentially work with in the future are based here. So whilst he's getting B-roll, I will learn about the car, but also do some networking and that's kind of the way we manage to do both of those things at the same time and save some time. Hello lads. You guys know Misha? Don't say anything bad. This is the Aorus, it's called. Uh, it's a Russian car. They literally have come to Geneva without having a price or anything. All we're gonna do is roll a little montage of it. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. I spotted Yeezys from, are those Yeezys? Uh, these are Yeezys, yeah. Yeah, that must mean we're with Archie yeah, Hamilton. And Tony Gravelwood. Uh, I can't speak that uh, uh, this, is, this is for the English channel for now. Well, sorry, English, we're still on. Right. I thought you were on the French. It's actually smashing it. Yeah. That's correct. Well, that would be odd, Yeah. <laughs> have you seen his shoes? <laughs> these chaos. What are these? Why they're do you have different nice. shoelaces? Yeah. Uh, that I design, I, I, well, I didn't design them, but um, <laughs> you didn't design them. <laughs> I told him to do the shoelaces like that. They're off Did you actually? Nights. They're limited edition. Yeah. Paid a premium. Paid a premium. Did Ar you? Archie can't drive on Sims. <laughs> <laughs> it's got nothing to do. To do just yeah, randomly, well, Archie can't drive. Are you well? Very well, thank you. Yeah, but it's got nothing to do with what we just said. No, I know, but I just didn't want to talk about my trading anymore. Thoughts on the Geneva Motor Show so far? Terrible. Terrible. Porsche will bring anything out of any significance. We thought they were bringing the Speedster and then they brought the 992 cat. Who cares? Yeah. Well, I have got a coupe on order actually, it's coming soon. So, so we do care? No, 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 because it's a convertible, I don't want the convertible. The F8, which is cool, I suppose. Yeah. Which I bought. Which I bought. You've got one of them. One of When's that arrived? Won't be till next year. Hello, I'm vlogging. Sorry, hi. How are you? Oh, look, here we go. Oh, oh hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> we're in, we're in. <laughs> Don't be so stupid. <laughs> Tony will text you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> because she knows we've got a few quid. <laughs> right, so whilst all the others that you guys just saw are chilling over there, I am going to look around a few of the cars at the McLaren stand, just give you a brief little look around. There's some very, very cool cars here. What's happening now, just so you get an idea of it, is Cole Bye. is editing. So while he's editing, what I'm doing is I'm going around looking at cars sort of networking for future projects that we have with brands. So you see that we do all the press drives of McLaren and stuff like that. The way that comes to life is by meeting and talking to people at events like this. So that's what I'm doing. We got the 720S GT3, which is pretty cool. We got a 600LT Spider and an MSO spec with sort of matte carbon, green pinstriping. I mean, the 720S and 720S Spider, my video with that, you have probably already seen, hopefully. And if you haven't, a link will be somewhere. Right, I thought I'd film for you quickly. I'm in a room back here. It's like one of these rooms, so it's where you have most of your meetings. But effectively, when you come on the stand, you can get like a little pass like this, which they hand you. No clue why I've ended up with this. I definitely do not fit in in this room. The only person 
wearing a hoodie. But you come in and the way McLaren do it is they always have like a little MSO car here. This year they've got this beautiful 720 with this awesome paint job in like deep blue, which looks epic and then goes into silver, uh, well silver, gray, whatever that may be. But it's all, it's got the blue details all around. Um, very nicely done. But these rooms are where you'll usually sort of have the meetings and do what you need to do. So yeah, so this is where you'll usually come. I'll do all my meetings while Carl's editing and we'll sort of have a, you know, round the clock. We're never stopping working and networking and editing and all of that. So that's why it's a two person team and it makes it so much easier. And that's sort of how it works, guys. And these are the rooms I thought it would be cool to show you. And uh, everyone is looking at me like, why is that kid holding a camera? So that's fantastic. This is the MSO wall, I believe they would call it. So that's where the MSO car is. And then you come back here. The theory is you see a car you like out there, you buy it, then you come in here and you can use this wall to see all of the little special touches MSO can do. So you got like, look, green carbon, burgundy carbon, paddles. These are details which they can stitch in. I mean, look at this beautiful sort of dark blue Alcantara with the writing on it. And they made these little books where you can actually feel, see the different textures and see all the different colors of things all around. So that's very, very cool. I mean, I don't know how many of these they actually genuinely sell in Geneva, but I imagine quite a few to be able to justify this whole ordeal. I have just spotted something. It's me doing a video in Geneva, live. Right, now what we're doing is we're rushing back to Cole, who apparently has just finished the video, to watch it, approve the final edit, because uh, obviously we discuss how we're going to edit it together, but then I need to approve the final edit and then go. But something very cool just happened. I just got <laughs> Shmi, Tim, to speak French on my French channel. Yeah, it's fantastic. There is the La Bugatti. La Bugatti. La Bugatti, La Voiture Noire en France. Oui, oui, oui. Mais en anglais, c'est. So I've never heard him speak French properly. It was absolutely hilarious. But yeah, some fluent French speaking from Shmi on the French channel. The link to that is going to be down below. So this is a little takeover of Seb's vlog. So Geneva for us as creators is very intense. Yeah, I'm, while I watch this, I just asked Amrit to give you his point of view on what it's like to be at Geneva. So go ahead, have a chat. So first of all, we have like three halls. If you run from one to the other side, it's like 15 minute walk minimum. You, you meet like a lot of people, so you're always busy, you're always distracted. And during that distraction, you still need to film, you need to post. You need to keep, keep in touch on your social. You need to think on content, to like take your time and talk to all the like like PR agents of the brands, you know, do your account management. So yeah, it's actually like more heavy than a regular office job. Definitely more fun. Am I the only one who thinks this is the most Tony Stark futuristic thing in the world? Look at it, it's a what, like a see-through window screen. That's I'm sure that's the official name. Yeah. See-through window screen. See-through Look. glass. I mean, seen through yeah, glass. Yeah. Here he is. He just looked at that and said, yeah, just, well, that's, that's, a thing. Is, "That's a thing." Right there. That is a thing. That is a Mansori Bugatti Chiron. Yeah. How much do you think that costs? At least four billion. Uh, four billion. Yeah. Four billion. Get it. The paint's nice, though. The paint is nice. They should have just only done that. <laughs> yeah. The wheels are kind of cool too, but some, I, sometimes I feel like they go overboard on the forged carbon. Sometimes. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> With the first stand, we managed to sneak up onto. Yeah, yeah, no other stand was interested. <laughs> I know, I know, right? This has a roof scoop. Look at that. Pretty that is insane. cool. I like that. I like that. The roof scoop is amazing, and the carbon work is pretty incredible. This is actually my family crest. That's really weird. That that. <laughs> Imagine if that was actually the case. You I, came. I don't, I don't think my family. How do you a get a family not crest? Not fancy how, enough for that. You know when people say I have a family crest, I'm like, how can I have one? Where do you do you it? Are way too rich if you have a family. Crest. Oh really? Are you? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, but wait, okay. We've got a sparkly interior. Think of that what you will. Yeah. We've just put it, we put the information they on the table. described it kind of as styrofoam. Yes. Which is exactly what I would want in my $4 million car. Yeah. Styrofoam. <laughs> you know, I would not be surprised if it's more than four mil. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. This could be a $6 million car. It looks like it. <laughs> this car's fairly self-explanatory. Yeah, so. yeah. It says, Billionaire on the rims. It's just no, billionaire. Yeah. It's announcing what you are as yeah. you arrive. It's just like just oh, oh it's on the it's on the dash. It's on the seats. Wow. Is are, those are just bees all over, yeah. right? Billionaire, billionaire. But what if you're not a billionaire and you buy this? It's embarrassing. Probably wouldn't be. Probably wouldn't Probably be. Yeah. Be. No billionaires would actually this openly. Yeah. Yeah. 
Anyway, that's that. And then the, you know Philip Plant. Do you know the the um, yep. clothing? Yeah. I do. So this is a G wagon of theirs. It actually looks awesome. I actually think this think that's that very awesome. cool. Yeah. I like that a lot. That looks good. Oh wait, one last thing we didn't yeah. show is the Bugatti Key. Those aren't diamonds, are they? No, that's actually they took a, a bunch of they took three pieces of spearmint gum. And right. Stamped out a bunch of pieces and stuck them on. Ah, yeah. that's uh, what it is. Yeah. You've nailed it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, Look who's here. Hello, lad. Good. You enjoying the show? From what I've seen of it, yeah. Like I haven't okay. been here that long, but uh, it's been treating me well. Good. SVJ Roadster. SVJ Roadster. Aston's. You know a little bit uh, stereotypical of me to say SVJ Roadster. Yeah. When I saw, oh, hello. <laughs> when I saw the Aventador, then you, I thought this. That is a very Wallace PJW spec as well oh, yeah. on it. Yeah. Like car and yeah. spec. Yeah. That is like, oh, yeah. That is your car. Yeah. Anyways. Anywho, you get on, do your stuff, but it was good to see you. I want to get you involved in the vlog. Thank you. Bye. Bye. What? <laughs> is this like, what is this? It's sick, is what it is. It is sick. I mean, it is look, sick. It looks. It is. This, is. this is what a Porsche should look like. So I agree with you. I agree. Look, this look, is. Look at this here. Yeah, no, you know what it is? Like, I, I did a video. I often do videos where I talk about daily drivers. I've said the Wraith is one of my favorite daily drivers, C63. Yeah. This, after seeing this it, to be right in on, this man. spec, is the dream it is. like just game over? How, I mean, how can you not like that? I don't know. I think this deserves a montage, wouldn't you say? Off we go. Well, how the end of the day sometimes usually goes. Um, we got some emails today, which I get sent through, and I sort of filter through the emails, and then we decide on some stuff. So we had Hispano Suiza. I've definitely said that wrong now. We've made this car, 1,000 horsepower electric car, and we bumped into these legends Hello. right here <laughs> who are filming a school project. Um, so Hispano Suiza sent me an email saying, you know, come over and check out the car. So that's what we're doing. And these guys sent a message over because they're filming a project about why people love cars so much. So I decided why not uh, sort of take part in both of those things. So if ever you guys want to get in touch or you want to do anything cool like this, I'm always reading my emails. I'm always on there. And uh, so I appreciate anything that you guys send over and the love that you give. So we're going to do this now. And then I think we're basically going to call it a day. I was looking for the paddles, but it's electric. So obviously there are no paddles. <laughs> but man, this thing there. is cool, right? Yeah. Thousand horsepower. People who developed this are the people who also developed the Mahindra Formula E cars, um, so they know what they're doing. They with do. Bicycles. And the fact that this. this is all handcrafted, that's cool. See, that's a camera, but it's rather than putting it how people try and do it, they've done it the traditional way. And that's what's cool is this is a company which, I don't know if you knew this, existed and they're reviving it for this car. So effectively what's happening is they're taking an old design, an old car, and bringing it back to life. So it's a mix of the traditional and the future. I think it's really sick. So you control the doors from your yeah. app. That is incredible. Yeah. Look at that. It's opening up now. <laughs> this guy, right? We're putting you on the spot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> just all I'm going to say is this face. You're going to be seeing it a lot in the very near future. That's, That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying all that. I'm saying. <laughs> See you in 12 right, months. See you in 12 Woo! months. Yeah, exactly. Bye. <laughs>